Let's throw a party. This was a terrible night. What happened? Zelada is feeling better, and Zveta is feeling pale and coughing. So it's pretty much just going to be a Pavel. Pavel. Mm -hmm. <sighs> no, no, she's feeling better, she says. To say very what? I swear my eyes just are not seeing little words right now. The font's not the best. Very hungry. Severely ill. Spet is dead next. Yep. We have to pull her body into the backyard so that it does not infect the rest of the people. Oh. And it'll just be the two of them, him bolstering around and her sleeping. <laughs> oh, man. I think this is There's, how this oh, game shit. ends. You see how long you can survive. Oh, what the fuck is this glitch? What? They're talking to each other. Through the floor? She's consoling her. She's all the way down in the basement. Oh, nice. She's yelling down to her. It's okay, Sveta. be all right. <laughs> it's okay, Sveta. I know you're sick. And Pop was in the middle like, what the fuck are you two doing? You'll be all right. And she's all, I'm going to die like today. Just now go away. I'm going to die. Why did they kill Anton? Such a terrible waste of life. He I don't was, know. Wasn't he? Yes, he was. Fuck is wrong with us? Oh, jeez. God, we can't even last a month, man. I know what I have to do. However, for real though, eating not eating for a day and a half is not starving. No. Just saying. But again, this isn't day like day eleven into the war, day thirteen into the war. This is day thirteen of them having missed the last survivor bus. Who's at the door? Franco. Doesn't look like Franco. If it's somebody sending us to go save some people, I'm done. Hi there, neighbor. I need your help. I'm down the street and notice you're in this abandoned building. I've got some news. There was a humanitarian airdrop last night. Most containers were confiscated by the rebels, but I know one they missed. It's landed no man's land. It might be dangerous to get to, but under the cover of darkness, we should be able to make it. I'll show you where it is if you help me carry the supplies. Deal? I like it. Do it? Yeah. Go, Anton. Or Pavel, Anton's dead. <laughs> you two. Sleep. Sleep. Maybe if you eat the pillows, you'll be not hungry anymore. What? So the question is, like, where do we go next in terms of, like, helping them? Oh, I'm going to go around the hospital. Knocking over all of the everything. <laughs> and Don't day. get so excited about robbing the hospital and knock the fucking microphone over. I cannot wait to rob people. <laughs> guard and guard. We've been raided. Thankfully, we were armed. No one was wounded. They didn't steal anything, but we used two ammo. So we used all the ammo? Yes. He survived. Who? Oh my god, we got five food. Hey, worth the air raid. Oh, oh god. so you made everybody sleep while he was out? No, they guarded. Good. Oh god, he is broken. What do you mean he's broken? What's it say? It says, literally, broken. Is he just sad? He, I can't get him to do anything. He will not do anything. Send what's-her-face over to talk to him. I need a prompt to show up. Have there her walk go. nearby him. There we go. I'm not accepting he is broken as a proper response here. Young girl. Yay. Do it. Make him dance. That's what you're doing. You rub him. You, you rub him good. <laughs> rub him because we need him to scavenge tonight. Bolster all the morales. Any way you know how. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not 
Really? Sorry, not sorry. This is why we are friends. Because <laughs> when it comes to, is that inappropriate? You never say no. Because no. <laughs> if it's inappropriate, it's funny. <laughs> okay, come on. You bolster him, girl. <laughs> but only if there's consent. <laughs> Screw this. Jeez. Okay, so we should probably pay more attention to the morale thing then. Yeah. I really didn't think it was that serious, to be honest. I didn't think it was. she needs a talking to, too. She bolstered him, now he's going to bolster her. Okay, that's cool. We can, I can dig it. <sighs> She's fucking hysterical, if you think about it. What? He was broke and she helps him now. He's gonna help her undepressing. Let me undepress you. <laughs> With my psychotherapy. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh man. Thrilling gameplay footage here. Absolutely. Thrilling. I don't know about you. Let's take a look at her. While she sleeps, you mean? Severely ill, very hungry, and sad. She loves children. And everywhere we go, <laughs> kids have just died. I think I know where she's going next. Are you sending her to the hospital so she can go <laughs> raid? <laughs> oh, God! Kids I, 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 I wasn't thinking I should make her go steal from the hospital. Got you'll go in there, they'll patch her up, and she'll steal her shit. Dude, but if you try to steal from the hospital, they'll, like, kill her. If they catch me. They won't have two people dead and then everyone will just be broken because their friends died. <laughs> I think they should adopt the feelings of The Walking Dead, which is that you just can't stay anywhere. Feelings. Nothing more than feelings. <laughs> I really gotta say, I really do like the art style for this. I love the art style. I kind of like the game. It's interesting. Yeah. Though it's very easy to be ridiculous. That it is. He's hungry, depressed, and very tired. She's gonna go eat. I'm gonna go have him sleep. Yeah, maybe he should, like... <laughs> well, they spent the whole out. day touching each other. <laughs> hey, listen, that's a great way to spend the day. Yes, it is! <laughs> I don't know about you, but I kind of like it that way. Yes. End day. Oh god, he slept for like 10 minutes. Well, he's gonna get to sleep today. Right? Right? You, you think, think I should send a... Should I send her to the, to the hospital? send Chubby Girl, right? No, I'm sending um other girl. What if I, I mean, I can send her there and she can get a little better, but not all the way better. Yeah, that's my problem. I wish sending her to the hospital really, like, made her life better. But, like, we've never been able to get her completely unsick. Maybe you should make her check with a bunch of different nurses. I'm going to do what I can. I'm just going to send her there so she can walk in pale like the freaking plague and... Honestly, if I was Hey, really you, in... can you help? Find any medical supplies, return them to the doctor. My goodness, what happened to you? Let me help you. Whoa, she is jacked up. Oh, yeah, she's severely ill and still very hungry. She doesn't have the hill, she has the uh, H1 nerd one. 
<laughs> Time to get a stealing. Not go to another nurse. I'm gonna look for one. There's one over here. Have I got my eye on you, he says. Because she can totally fight you, dude. <laughs> Now this, it's a door symbol over here. Mm -hmm. Is that going to be me stealing if I touch that? Well, open it? Yes. It's locked. Yeah, our girl's going to die on the way home. Yeah. I'm going to have her dig that pile of rubble up. I feel bad. We shouldn't have killed Anton. Now we need him. No, we don't. And he had a bunch of meds. He did, but we could always run back and get them. I don't know. He didn't have meds. He had bandages. He had medical supplies. Yeah, we had. don't have anything to make with those. Anything to use those he med could supplies. Have sold them to the doctors. I'm not really making her dig through a pile of rubble and move this. Very hungry, sick. Nah. Dig. Dig. Ah, uh, look how slow she's working, too. Jeez. Why didn't give her a shovel? <laughs> <laughs> you're stupid. <laughs> oh, you're so done with this game, aren't you? <laughs> no, I just know when I'm not going to finish it. What you know is we're going to die soon. So. Exactly. Oh. So let's at least have some fun with the dying. Yeah. Because clearly there's no medicine to be had in this city. Do you sometimes start with people who aren't, like, drastically ill? Or is there always Sometimes. Ill? It's, all, it's random. Oh, okay. Not going to lie. I think I would just, like, keep hitting new game until I got four survivors who weren't, like, stupid sick. There was a guy standing behind that pile of rubble. Okay. The patient needs me. He oh my god. <coughs> that was two pills. Why did everyone run away? He just said, oh god, a patient needs me. Oh. I think he was trapped in there. Cool. And I saved him. So oh, something oh god, I see what happened. The building was to take more shelling. Yeah. Because that room is now inaccessible over there. Yeah, he got stuck under the rubble. We, we saved him. Or her. Dr. Jeff Mal seems shattered. Yeah, they cut off whole, an access to a whole part of this building. Why is he so threatening me? Because he's a douche. Stupid douche. Come on, run! Oh, that's it. Anton didn't make it back last night. I'd cry, but there were no more tears left. Dude. Wait until she gets in the bombed out children section. Um, Is that's that where guy, I'm sending her? Look at that guy. He just ran to meet you. Oh, who's that? Who's that? I don't know. Talk to the doctor. Oh, we shit. Can give supplies. And maybe he give us food. Donate supplies. I don't need food. He has nothing worthwhile. Then back out. Surgery me. 
He's like, stop wasting my time. Don't you see what's going on here? It's like, dude, you're offering me sugar and shovels for medicine. <laughs> Perhaps next time we should focus more on survival stuff than. Then what? Then, like. Holy shit, that's a bomb. What? Where? Right there. Oh. Oh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> you know what I just imagined? What? Spetta dies from the hospital bomb. Oh. Left with two people. Oh, so there's right. Uh, yeah, you can't me. even get to the children's wing now, man. Yep, it's right there. Get off there so she could actually move. Oh, the dawn is caught her. It will be harder to return. Ain't my fault she was waddling along. <laughs> 